So what are some linear demand functions? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for over nine years. And linear demand functions are demand functions that follow a linear pattern. In other words, the demand functions can be graphed via a line. Now, the demand really depends on what the price happens to be. So therefore, linear demand functions tend to be that of a downward line because the higher the price, generally, the lesser the demand. So we're going to do an example of a linear demand function and give you an idea as to how uh, price is related to demand. Now typically, uh, P stands for price and Q stands for demand. And an example that we're going to talk about today is Q equals 60 minus 1 half P. Now, for example, let's just say your price was, for this particular item, was $10. What you would do to figure out the demand is you would plug in 10 where the P is. So you'll have Q equal to 60 minus 1 half times 10. Now, as you know, 1 half of 10 is 5. So you have 60 minus 5, which is 55. So in this particular instance, when the price is $10, the demand will be 55 items. Now, let's just say your P your price was $30, and then you want to find out what the demand of that happens to be. So you have Q equals to 60 minus 1 half of 30. And as you know, half of 30 is 15. So you have 60 minus 15, which is 45 items. So when the price is tripled in this particular instance, the number of items decreased by 10. Now typically, that's pretty normal because the more you charge your price, the less for demand. But there are many other demand functions out there, but linear demand functions are a good foundation to understand uh, this aspect of business. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and this is a demonstration of linear demand functions.